The police watchdog should be given greater powers to deal with complaints against the National Force, according to a review of complaints, handling and misconduct issues. It also highlights concerns about the treatment of recruits from ethnic minorities, the LGBTI community and women. Police Scotland say racism and discrimination have no place in policing. Katrina Renton reports. It is more than five years since Sheikha Bayo died in police custody after he was restrained by officers in Kirkcaldy. No criminal charges were brought and a public inquiry is now pending. Today's report says deaths in police custody should be treated with the same urgency as homicide investigations. It justifies the, the complaints um, and the struggle of the Sheikha Bayo family. I know many other families and victims who have spoken out. It's not just about Police Scotland, I think we should be clear about that. This is about fundamental reform of the police complaints system, which presently is not fit for purpose for a modern and democratic Scotland. Former Lord Advocate Dame Eilish Angelini's 488-page review makes 81 recommendations. Amongst them, a significant increase in powers for the police watchdog, the Police Investigations and Review Commissioner. Gross misconduct hearings against police officers should be held in public and there should be an independent review into equality matters. Concerns were expressed that some black, Asian and minority ethnic officers said they had experienced discrimination, as had some female and LGBTI officers. In a statement, the Chief Constable of Police Scotland, Ian Livingston, said racism and discrimination of any kind is deplorable and unacceptable and I utterly condemn it. It has no place in society and no place in policing. I don't recognise the police service and I don't recognise the, the apparent uh, dissatisfied general public in terms of my experience in the police service and now running to some 28 years is that I have never seen any tolerance of any form of discrimination uh, or intolerance towards any uh, underrepresented group in the police service. The government welcomed the report it commissioned. We don't just want a good system of police complaints, we want the gold standard. And to do that, reflecting on this report, uh, reflecting on the recommendations is going to be hugely important. Public confidence is mentioned 77 times in this report. Public confidence, and that's what we need to get back. And clearly there is a confidence issue, not just with the public, but with police officers who have been sorely let down by this system for too long.